Today we have two major political parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. But these haven't always been around. To understand these parties and how they originated, you need to know where they came from. Let's take a trip back to 1796 and start to piece some information together. You see, our beloved first president, George Washington, left office in 1796. He gave a farewell address, urging the people to avoid political parties, fearing that they would drive a wedge in the nation. However, two key individuals did not listen to his advice and gathered followers who shared their same views on government. These men were Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. Beginning back in 1791, Madison founded what is known as the Federalist Party, while Jefferson formed the Democratic Republicans. And no, this is not the Republicans of today. Now that we know what these groups are called, it's important to know what they believe in. So let's start by looking at the Federalist Party. Alexander Hamilton believed in a strong national government that was supported by manufacturing and industry. In addition, Hamilton and the Federalists envisioned an America that had strong ties with Great Britain. Also, they were proponents of a national bank. Now that we know some of the main beliefs of the Federalists, let's look at the Democratic Republican Party. Jefferson wanted an America that was predominantly agrarian, with most people being small-scale subsistence level farmers. Maybe they would produce a little surplus for local markets, but certainly not for international consumers. There would be no international trade. And he didn't want manufacturing either. This small-scale local economy could best be served by a small-scale local government. It's not a surprise to find that Jefferson's sympathies lay with the anti-federalists, even though he benefited from the new constitution a little bit, since, you know, he eventually got to be president and everything. Unlike the elitist Hamilton, Jefferson was an avowed Democrat, which meant that he distrusted concentrated power and privilege and believed that the masses could basically govern themselves. To him, government and concentrated economic power were greater threats to liberty than a tyrannical majority. Jefferson was a big fan of the French, and not only because he spent a fair amount of time in Paris as our ambassador there, he also liked the French because they fought with us in the War of Independence against the British, and because after 1789, he liked the way the French treated their aristocrats, that is, brutally. In general, Jefferson and his partisans, who called themselves Republicans, although some current textbooks call them Democratic Republicans just to make things incredibly confusing, preferred France just as the Hamiltonians preferred Britain. Americans decided to elect John Adams, which places the Federalist Party in control of Congress. However, Jefferson would run against Adams and win in the election of 1800. Now, these parties were significant because ever since their formation, they have provided a presidential candidate in every election since Washington, and have become deeply rooted in today's politics. This fact doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. So isn't it about time to figure out where you fall on the political spectrum? What party do you tend to agree with? 